Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. In this episode, I have a few more mods that you guys want me to try out. I'm ready to play them. No more talking. The first mod we are going to try out in today's episode is called the Love Mod. Oh my god. There's an Oka Cola vending machine, guys. That is so freaking awesome. Let's see what female Harry Potter says. I know the last mod had Diva's voice. Let's see what she sounds like. Hi. Hi. Join me. Okay, still the same voice. Here comes a new challenger. Yeah, here comes a new challenger. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Don't mess with me. Oh shit, don't mess with her. Don't mess with me. You see this magic girl one? I should knock you upside the head with it. And who is this girl? Damn, mm. son. Damn, you can pull at my strings anytime. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Hi. Don't mess with me. You don't mess with me. Shut your ass up. So over here it says we have two confessions. I don't know who those two people are, but I kind of want to see it just to see it because it's here and it's part of the mod. So I'm going to click on Confession Sora first. Okay. Ooh. Oh, bonjour, Sora. Merci d'intervenir. Who the fuck am I confessing? Whoa. It's pretty random that I'm confessing to Oka, but I'm not complaining. Oka is awesome. If anybody knows what this says, please write it down in the comments comments below because I would love to know it but I am too damn lazy to remember all these words and put it in a Google translator and translate it from French to English but judging by the way Oka's standing I think she's into this girl I think she's into Sora I guess their ship name is Soka or Aura or you know what they don't even need a ship name because that ship name is ugly as fuck damn get it Oka Darkness, my old friend. Wait, why does Oka look so sad after that kiss? Was the other girl's breath too damn hot or something? She probably had that stank-ass breath. I see you, Oka! <laughs> Get it, girl! Okay, so as you guys can see right here, Oka and this girl got a happy ending. Instead of Oka hunting for demons, she's now gonna be hunting for that ass. Bruh. So we are gonna check out what the other confession scene is and see what that one's all about. Oh, God. It's Midori! This girl's confessing to Midori. I wonder what they're talking about. Midori's probably like, hey, let's go bug Yandere Dev about his emails. Why does Midori look so mad right now? I feel bad for this girl. I don't even know who this chick is, but Midori seems like she's going in on her. Oh, never mind. They're kissing. I guess Midori wasn't mad enough to slip her tongue down her throat. Okay, I have this in my hand, and I know what everybody's thinking. It's long. It's black. It's veiny. That's a huge bitch! Obviously, it's a Pocky. So since we're holding some candy, let's give my waifu a sweet, sweet death! Apparently, the occult club members like dark chocolate. <laughs> 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 I'm just really trying to think of, like, chocolate puns or candy puns. And I'm really trying hard, guys. <laughs> Oh man, that was so dumb. Hey, this delinquent likes the long black oh, ones too. No I action. see you. Oh. We're not so different, you and I. Wow, I just noticed that. When you drag their bodies, instead of just random splats of blood coming out, their actual hearts coming out. And they're different sizes too. Look, little heart all Don't the way to a big heart. It. That is creative as fuck. But anyway, guys, that was the love mod. I've played Monsterette's other mod called the Amai Odiaka mod, and I really like how detailed and creative it was. I think the thing that I really liked the most was the Oka-Cola vending machine. That really made my day. That was cool and awesome to see. But we are going to try out one more mod in today's episode, and that mod is... Drumroll, please. The Hello Neighbor mod. So as soon as I turn on the mod, the neighbor is coming after my ass already. But she's not fooling anyone. This is a girl with a shit stash. You're not fooling anybody. You're not the real neighbor. I cannot get caught by her. This is one of those challenge mods where I need to defeat everybody in the school without getting captured by the neighbor over there. So we are going to have to do a little strategy in this bitch. But you guys already know I'm up for any challenge. So let me grab some type of weapon. And I'm actually going to disable the sanity animations so I don't have to see that whole cutscene of them getting killed. It could just be like a quick death. And then that'll save me at least a little bit of time in order to get all the students without getting caught by the neighbor. So let's disable this. And then summon the weapons. There you go. And where the fuck is the knife? Shit. Alright, so let me grab this knife and let's get this shit started. Actually, to make this a little bit easier on myself, I am going Welcome. to join the Martial Arts Club. Wait, since I'm in the Martial Arts Club and I can win any confrontation, 
Can I actually win a confrontation against the neighbor? We're about to find out on this episode of Dragon Ball Z. Is that a knife? You shouldn't bring something like that to school. What the fuck, you gotcha, pussy bitch. neighbor? Oh, okay. He was just tricking me. He was pretending to be scared. He was like, oh my god, it's a knife. And then, nope, caught me right off guard. Pinned me to the ground in the kidnapping room and gave it to me good. Does the neighbor actually have any info about them? Let me see. Oh my god, really? I took a clear picture of the neighbor and I still got pinned to the ground. Look at this shit stash. What kind of mustache is that? That is a I do not get any dates whatsoever kind of mustache. But let's see what kind of information this guy has. It was Yui the whole time. The whole time? I should have known that Yui was the neighbor. I should have known. You can never trust someone that's so damn evil. Nope, you're not going anywhere. Fuck you. Fuck you. What are you doing? Why are you going over to the teacher? The hell's wrong with you? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, you know what? Since he's behind, no, he's not behind her anymore. Wait, let me try laughing. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I glitched out the teacher. Let's fucking go, boy. Wait, what? Why is she what coming closer to me? What do you mean, what have I done? I didn't do shit. I'm trying to get this a cold club fuck Stop boy. Right get now. over here. God damn me so fast. And the teacher and the neighbor are chasing me now? What the fuck is this? Aw, oh, fuck, really? Really? Motherfucking really? God. <laughs> you know what? Let me get everybody back here that's in this line. I'm gonna get them in the most fucked up conga line ever. Just gonna keep getting them and hopefully the neighbor doesn't capture me. Oh, shit, the neighbor's right there. Fuck me. Oh my god, is that a dead body? Oh, the neighbor is such a bitch. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No, the neighbor is be. leading the teacher to a dead body? How am I gonna beat this if the neighbor is a snitch? Alright, so let's get Kudere. And then I'm gonna pick the body up quick. And hopefully the neighbor doesn't find me. And I just have to keep hiding all the bodies every time I eliminate them. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Oh shit, there's the neighbor. Hello. Ooh, let me get these guys before the neighbor finds me. Come on. Kill faster, yandere chan Don't let the neighbor see you. Fuck, I know the neighbor's gonna turn the corner any second now. No? Okay, never mind. Ah, man, I can take out all these guys, but I'm killing them all so slow. These sanity animations are losing time for me, and the neighbor's gonna catch up. Tell the teachers like a little freaking snitch, and I'm gonna have to do this over again. Just hurry up, Yandere-chan, come on. Hurry up so the neighbor doesn't come in here. Okay, good. We just gotta run out here. Close the doors. Oh, shit, there's a neighbor. Don't look inside there. Don't look inside there. Fuck. Turn the corner so she doesn't see the blood on you. Whew. Okay, we got rid of those guys. Now we just gotta keep going around the school so she's lagging behind and then we'll go roundabout, go into the martial arts club and kill all the other guys. Okay, I'm trying to fast forward time, but these students don't seem to be leaving this area. I need them to leave because if Senpai sees me killing any of these students, he's gonna flip his shit and I'm gonna get game over. But it doesn't seem like time exists in this challenge, so I don't know how I'm gonna take care of this part right here. I mean, I can try to pick them off one by one by laughing and getting them to go to a place where nobody can see them. But that's gonna take forever and the neighbor is gonna get my ass. And there's a few masks over here that are missing and I can't seem to find them anywhere in the school. And plus the robot that lets me join the club isn't even here. So I don't know how I'm gonna get those people in the courtyard. And what do you know, the neighbor is stuck running into a table about to snitch on me. I think that I'm gonna restart this one more time. I'm gonna activate the challenge after school so everybody's in their club so I don't have to try to get everybody that's in the courtyard. So let's go. Okay, so it's after school. Some people are going to their club. Some people are going home. I am going to activate it right now. And I need to be quick because I know the neighbor's gonna get me. So let's end this person's life first. I think this is one of the boss of sisters. And then I'm gonna pick her up real quick. Nobody's around me, right? We're gonna put her inside of the bathroom so I know for sure I won't get caught. And we just have to rinse and repeat. And I see a bunch of people over there. Hello, boys. Put him in here. And put the other guy. Fuck, where is the neighbor? The neighbor is scaring me because I know she's gonna pop out any second. Alright, we gotta hide these bodies. Come on, we gotta be quick. 
The neighbor's gonna find you. Fuck, the neighbor found me. And what the fuck? Oh, man. Oh, this challenge is hard as shit. I think that's it for me. I've done this way too many times. I know I only showed a few runs that I had, but those were actually the good ones. Those were the good attempts. I've had so many attempts where I turned the corner and the neighbor was just there and he was like, boom, and it was game over just like that. So obviously I can't beat this challenge, but there is one thing that I can do to the neighbor. If you have your knife out and you time it just right, you can actually kill the neighbor before the neighbor kills you. I mean, it's going to go into a cutscene, but you can actually kill the neighbor. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, there you go. I killed the neighbor. Let's go, teabag that is. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. If you guys have any more mods you want to suggest to me in the comments, please write them in this comment section down below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, dude.